Good morning or good afternoon. It's day two in Japan and today was looking at shopping districts. I went to two extremes. The first one I went to was the Akihabara Electronics District. This is a crazy place of neon and big stores and small stores all focused on electronics, games, toys. Uh, it was a crazy wild place. You can kind of see here when in a few of these pictures all the people some stores were really large like this one about nine stories tall all filled with electronics and many stores were really small like this one which is just a size of a walk-in closet since i have my new camera and i've got a really cool fluorescent lighting store i decided to take a couple of photos just to enjoy the colors so here's three of them that you have to look at Taking us back into the main market, you can see there's lots of people in really tight alleyways. But you'll also note that there are vending machines everywhere in Japan. I mean, they sell all the usual things, waters and sodas, but they sell teas and coffee and iced coffee and hot coffee and candy bars, all sorts of things. If it'll fit in a vending machine, I'll guarantee that they have them. One thing I found pretty interesting is that they all take dollars and coins. But the other way you can pay for your vending machine item is to use your cell phone. Here I caught this guy using his cell phone and he just holds it up against the money dispenser and somehow it accesses his bank account and he can use it. Very interesting. A few of my absolute favorite vending machines. This one is ice cream. Notice the very interesting ice cream cones with the ice cream stuck inside of a waffle. My next most favorite was this one, which is a lunch vending machine. People would come up and they could get all sorts of different noodle dishes. Very hot and fresh and very inexpensive. And then the last one is this vending machine, which interesting sells sweat water. I don't know if it's canned sweat or exactly what it tastes like, but I decided to skip that one. Well, although many things are different in Akihabara, there are some things that are very familiar. Here's our good old friend, Colonel Sanders, sitting out front to welcome all the Japanese guests. There are Denny's, there are McDonald's, there are Wendy's, there are several U.S.-based stores. Um, you'll note that the menu is pretty much the same, although it's hard to pronounce those words. There were other some one other familiar thing was this gorilla character. I don't know if any of you guys know of the Gorilla Glue Company in Cincinnati, but that is the exact same icon they use for Gorilla Glue. This one's actually being used at a kid's store. Finally, I thought you'd be interested in what I had for lunch. Uh, upper left is some shrimp that's been deep fat fried. Bottom left is a bowl of rice. The bottom middle is just a broth, and the bottom right is some miso soup. And it was wonderful. Well, as we leave Akihabara, which is dense and tightly packed and very crazy, here's the other shopping district I visited. This is like Rodeo Drive of Japan. Big wide avenues, big fancy stores, everybody dressed up very nicely. I'm sure my wife would have loved to have visited this district with all the fancy names. And no, honey, I didn't go in a single store, and no, I didn't bring you home anything from them. But in addition to the fancy stores, they also have these beautiful flower displays all over the place. They're very nice. These are actually flower petals that they lay out. And I don't know if they're glued or what, but you can kind of see this in the close-up. But they're all laid out, and people are taking pictures all day long, and they've got flowers on every street corner. It's a very beautiful shopping district. In addition to being beautiful, it's also extremely safe. There are bikes just parked without chains or anything, and lots of people leave things in their baskets. Tokyo is an extremely safe city. And then people watching is, of course, very interesting. Um, here are two women in kimonos. Um, lots of people wear face masks, sometimes because they're sick and they're, it's a courtesy to others to not um, cough and sneeze on them. Some people use them for prevention. Here's a gentleman in a male kimono. I uh, found him quite interesting. He's the only guy I saw dressed like that. Some kids are uh, kind of crashed and sleeping on people's backs. Um, there is a, a priest. That's a Japanese priest. Um, not sure what kind, but he's out uh, collecting alms. 
Uh, interesting people sitting out. Uh, I've seen guys with dogs. I've never seen a guy out walking a cat before. He was quite a character to follow. I had then finally went to a park, which was beautiful. They had all these little bonsai trees. Um, they had some great statuary. Um, this is some type of Budokan or something, uh, but beautiful guy. And then uh, I just sat there for a couple hours reading a book, uh, so I thought you'd want to see the bench I was sitting at. Um, all in all, it was a wonderful day.